I really enjoyed that that personal story, Jade, of how you, how you grew up and had a had a park very far away from you. I think parks are a really big part of a community and a great way to pull people together. Uh, so, just a, a question, you know, in, in that park that you're targeting, as you develop it and make it nicer, how many kids do you think will eventually be using this park? Between the range of fifth. 50 and 75 kids may use it in any given day. You and your families will be taking care of the upkeep. How long, how much do you think that's going to require? How many hours of work per year? Every two weeks or so that we would, me and Taylor and I would go and look at the playground to assess how much like maintenance that we need. So depending on what we see and what's going on with the playground, I would say like seven to 10 hours each month. Jada and Taylor, that was such a great job. Every time I wrote down a question, you guys answered it within the presentation. And so I just have one uh, remaining question. How would you utilize any volunteers? I know you said you and your friends and family will go out and assess, but are there other ways in which you guys are going to get uh, other folks in your community involved? We are in a program called Merit, and they are a very supportive group of people. We have mentors and we have other students from other high schools who are also um, taking their own journeys in terms of community helping and building. So um, we were planning to use them as a resource and also the people in the community itself, because oftentimes around here, you see people building playgrounds or building these different places, but where are the people of color? Where are the people who live right around the corner? They aren't able to, you know, get a hammer and build with those people. So community, um, to involve the community is a huge part of this project for us.